and I, I don't know if it works, but as you are aware, we've been under lockdown. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much for more than 108,000 subscribers. I have been on and off because I've been trying to work to save up. It's not easy during this economic hardship where you need a lot of funds to you know travel and to do what you need to do for uh, Monali constituency. For those of you who are aware, I'm an aspiring member of parliament for Monali constituency and um, my mission is huge. And part of the mission is to make sure that you know I always have funds. And if you guys are willing to support the work that I do, please do so. Let me know and I will direct you how you can support the work that I do. So thank you so much. This video is about Motale Mwanza. Hi, food delight. Good to see you. Share this video and tell me where you're watching me from. So before the, the, the video actually starts, let's play some music. Let's talk about this. Hi, Virginia, good to see you. Hi, everybody, good to see you. So we're talking about Mutale Mwanza. It's an amazing topic. Hi, Chinyamba, good to see you. Let them play and play. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. This is Lillian Matambo on Lillian Matambo's YouTube channel. This is my second live stream today. I've got about three topics to talk about and I'm just going to do, you know, videos and cut. Live streams are much easier than recording, shooting a video, editing, and then you have to, uh, a lot of work to do. I've been really busy trying to put myself together as I've been campaigning in Monali constituency in Zambia. So this topic is very, very interesting. And it was trending yesterday. Uh, this week in Zambia, it's about firing. Yesterday, um, Motale Mwanza was fired by her boss of Hot FM, and I'll read a letter in which he expressed the reasons why he fired the beautiful, young, hot FM presenter, Motale Mwanza. And then I'll also give um, a background as well on the story as to what's going on in Zambia at the moment. So very briefly, in Zambia, there is what you call a new bill which is being introduced by the current uh, government called the Cyber Bill. Now, this Cyber Bill is, I see it as a dangerous bill, especially during this period of the election. Guys, I wish you can see how beautiful my top is. It's really lovely. You know, so nice. So, the Cyber Bill is um, aimed at, you know, opposition leadership that can't um, really um, speak out, that, can, that use social media, especially in this time of, uh, you know, the elections, the opposition leadership and political parties like myself, uh, we use social media to express ourselves, our opinions. And social media is a very, very powerful tool that has helped to expose a lot of things. And this bill is being introduced it's called the Cyber Bill. And the Cyber Bill worked on Mutale Mwanza. And um, I was just surprised yesterday reading a comment about it. Um, I was shocked at the level of how people celebrate in my country, Zambia, when somebody is fired. I was very, very shocked. This is the first time I am seeing people celebrate someone. Of course, except Dr. Chitalu Chulufia, he deserved it. You know, the corrupt minister in Zambia. But for Mutale Manza, I was shocked that people could celebrate like this. Comments from all over on pages. People were happy, jubilated. She's been fired. So the overzealous Mutale Manza posted on her social media. I'm just going to uh, share that Mutale Manza 
um, and Mona Katwe. She posted on her social media with her interest of standing in Lusaka Central. And there's nothing wrong with anybody aspiring. You know, there's nothing wrong with anybody aspiring. I'm aspiring for Manali constituency and I'm standing up against, you know, Madam Kandoluo. But Mutale Mwanza is uh, eyeing Lusaka Central, which is quite a big fish to fry. Especially for the fact that the woman of, uh, you know, her caliber, Mwana Katwe, is somebody that she wants to go up against. So I'm going to read a few things because I wanted it to be a specific topic. So the first thing I came across was a firing letter. You know, someone trying to bring Uganda uh, to Zambia. Yes, yes. They are trying to bring Uganda to Zambia. I wish I could share that video, um, you know, that talks about the cyber crime and how cyber security, how they're putting in cameras all over in Uganda. Phones are tapped and everything. Uh, and you must know that, you know, President Lungu is friends with uh, Museveni and He's the only president in Africa that I saw that congratulated uh, Museveni when he won the elections. You know, 30-something years, a man has been a president, and then you even congratulate him. I mean, if he's truly your friend, tell him the truth. That My guy, give chance to the young one. Okay, so the letter was uh, posted on Moivantu Media. Um, I think he, they just copied and pasted. Um, Christian Daka said what she do I just joined okay Christian Daka Christina Daka Motale Mwanza was fired and the reason why she was fired was if you see my thumbnail she took her image and took the image of um, Madam Margaret Monakatwe and then made a statement that you know she is bio oil versus bulls who will you vote for which 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 B will you vote for? And I think she expected people to say, oh, yes, they will mock at Margaret Mwanakato. She said an independent candidate is going to stand. I am aspiring for Lusaka Central. And let's see. It didn't go well for her. It didn't go well for her. Because all the pages that grabbed the screenshot, all they did is insult Mutale Monza. All they did and say, do you even know the CV of Madam Margaret Monakatwe? And I knew Margaret Monakatwe when I was young. Um, uh, it's a story for another day. And I've always known her as Dudu Monakatwe. And she was like the director of such such a bank. <laughs> the woman has a CV. Before I go any further, let me read the woman's CV. Her CV is just too powerful. <laughs> she has been... A bank of Zambia director, you know, bank of finance bank. She's been an East African director, West Africa, what, what, what. Her CV is so rich. And people, what they did was they wrote a whole CV of what Margaret Manakato has done. A very long CV. And posted Mutale Mwanza's CV where they said, Mutale Mwanza, hot FM job. What, what, what. Qualification unknown, college unknown, you know. So, and people were like, hey, Do you know the type of woman you're fighting with? You know, because obviously, she's Madam Mar Margaret Malakata has had her bad days where she's had a little bit of a drink, but when it comes to her professional career, she is one of the most respected women in Zambia because she, she didn't go drinking at her workplace, no. It's the PF parties where she drinks. So you can't really blame her when you see her drinking. You know, it's her program where she drinks. And there are programs here. So Margaret um, Monacato. So people were like, whoa, that's like too much. And then a lot of people commented on the fact that Mutale Mwanza has always advocated for the women's rights. Um, you know, why should people reduce Mutale Mwanza to... Uh, a, a female figure that can't get what she has, what she's achieving, unless she's in a relationship with someone. You know, recently she's acquired a Range Rover. So many things have, have happened. She's talked down on Boman Musambo on radio. She's really told him off. And she's told off another man about her V, John, you know, V, <laughs> to say, you know, don't take me as a woman who you can use because you feel I am a woman, you know, she's really been really strong on that. 
And then a few days ago, she was even on, you know, cyberbullying at a cyberbullying event in uh, with Pakra. Let me show you those images actually from Mutale Monza's page, uh, which uh, shocked a lot of people. Like, okay. Oh, so, oh, so within minutes as I'm talking, there's just something that Mutale Monza has posted as well. Uh, okay. Uh, there's something she's posted, which obviously it's taken time and a lot of people have said, be careful how you use social media. I always tell people, I know how to use Facebook and YouTube very well. I have gained a lot of supporters, genuine supporters. I've gained a lot of subscribers who genuinely love me. And I respect myself, you know. I don't need to come here and disrespect people so that I should gain followership, no. And I think she's really, really getting... Okay, so this is a laptop. So this was a few days ago on Mutale Manza's page. She was at a cyberbullying event with Stella Sata, and I don't know who this other person is, at a Zikta event. This was a Zikta event where she was. Very beautiful young lady. And, you know, people were disappointed in her statement and for the fact that she was advocating as a brand for uh, Zikta. And a lot of people were excited about her rant, actually. Um, they said... Um, whatever she said, Margaret Monacatri, you know, did not deserve to be disrespected like that. And this is something we should all learn, you know, use social media wisely. Um, so let's read the letter first. So she was fired by her boss who wrote this letter on his page. And the letter sounded quite deep, really deep. It's like, you know, that we've warned you several times. We tell them once that you don't listen. And now I think we've had enough. Okay, so dear Miss Mwanza, it is with profound regret that I must inform you uh, that the management has decided to terminate your employment with Hot FM with immediate effect. We find your brand to be seriously in conflict with the Hot FM brand and values uh, can, and can no longer allow this trend to continue. Your latest antics are, and in our view, highly disrespectful, and provoked and unconscionable. Con, con, see, see, so, see, English guys, call, share, conscious, unconscious, unconscionable. <laughs> considering that they were targeted at an elderly national leader. I, I was thinking it was the president of Zambia. So I was looking at national leader. National, where, where, where? You know, I was looking for the post everywhere because she had de deleted it. I, I, didn't, I couldn't see it anywhere. Where, where did she post this? Anyway, so he says that um, uh, the letter stated that, you know, considering that they were targeted at an elderly national leader, it literally amounts to cyberbullying, and we do not condone such in our values and principles. Uh, we believe we have cautioned you enough in the last few months regarding, regarding your public conduct and warned you uh, against dragging our brand and company down to your level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, he, he really used some deep words there. You know, time has come. Um, to part company with you and we wish you well in your future endeavors oscar chavola and hot fm is a successful you know radio station and which has been empowered by the patriotic front um especially um michael julifia sata the late president who really you know used hot fm to help to spread the message about his party and you know he has that oscar chavola has a good relationship with uh, pf so you you don't bite the hand that feeds you how are you going to bite it you know this is the hand that is feeding this man then you you want to attack you can't attack a pf member so uh this was a letter that was written 
And then we have a guy, um, John Chimba, that has been fighting, Chanda John Chimba, that has been fighting for with um, Mutala Mwanza and her friend Serafina for some time. And he, he was like excited about this thing. I, I, let me share this. <laughs> and, and you see, why I've decided to share this is because, you know, we need to learn from her mistake. Um, the negative part, obviously, is that people were celebrating her downfall, you know. And for me, as a sister who loves Montana Manza so much, um, I just told... Motale um, in her inbox. I said, look, I told you start a YouTube channel. I told you start a TV Because I've been telling Motale for a long time. You need to go on YouTube. Start your TV show. You know, you don't need someone to hire and fire you. Uh, she's already a brand. She's made a big name for herself. All she needs to do is, guys, go to my YouTube channel. And, I mean, if me, Lilian can have 108,000 subscribers, what about Motale the diva? You people, you like divas on this internet. So... Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, so this young man has been fighting with Mikael Mwanza and he shared their audio conversation, <laughs> which they had yesterday. And it was hilarious, so I'll play it. It's only 18 seconds. So he received a call from Mikael Mwanza. I can hear you. Let me start from the beginning. I can hear you. Yeah, but put your phone. What am I talking to? Because I can hear the headphones. You're on loudspeaker. I'm talking to my father. Ah, you're talking to him stuff, my father. You have been fired. Okay. So he, he now started making fun of her because yeah, um he had a fracas recently with Mutalemanza's, you know, somebody who's close to Mutalemanza, Serafina which was on social media. I don't know what transpired behind the scenes, uh, but he was taken to the police station where he was accused of um, trying to bash Serafina or something like that. So he, for him, it was celebration time. Like, you know, he was the one who commented and he, he commented on my one to media. He said, look, yeah, we, we've had enough of her behavior. It's enough. He commented on different places. But the good news is she has decided to apologize. I've just read it. That's why I said, I've just read it. She decided to apologize. It took a whole day um, since yesterday and today she decided to apologize. And I'm going to be reading that statement. And for me, I love the fact that she's come out. She did not, you know, she was not proud. I mean, Margaret Mutale, Margaret uh, Monacatre is a big fish, you, you, you know. This is Lusaka Central, Lusaka Central MP, that is loved by you know, and you know that area has a lot of cadres. Yeah, uh, Zim Zam said you gave her good advice. She would definitely make it big on YouTube if she plays her cards well. Yeah, and that's what I told her I immediately. I said you don't need anybody to disrespect you and tell you you are fired from a job when you are a brand. I mean, how much is a radio station presenter's? Um, salary 2500 kwacha motale has endorsements motale has she could literally start her own podcast where she could be interviewing people and from there those who want to sponsor can sponsor her and she could be doing it even from her house first and people come there or she can hire a place you know and do podcasts pre-record them interview people and share them widely and believe you me she would be famous. And for me, I just sent a message. Because uh, Mutalamata has been like this baby sister of mine for many years. Um, and I told her, I said, baby girl, this, this was my message yesterday. I'm sure she'll read it. Yeah. And I'll read it. I said, baby girl, because that's how I call, I call her baby girl. Baby girl, it's about time you started your own thing. Don't let people fire you whenever they want that was my statement i didn't go there celebrating what am i celebrating for this is somebody today she's down tomorrow another company picks her up she's talented she's beautiful she speaks eloquently she's mastered the craft of radio and how to speak all that you know kind of english 
And I told her, do your own YouTube show. And I pray she does her own YouTube show. Because that way, nobody will, you know, take advantage of her, uh, you know, fame and just use it to expose a letter. And there was another post which her boss says, Umuika patalala, you know, those of you who know the Bemba proverb, umuika la patala, ekala patalala, something like that, you know, like, you know, somebody who stays in the, those of you who know that proverb, you know what I mean, that particular proverb. And for me, there was no need for all that. You know, even when you fire someone, you fire them, use it. This is why I say Africa, people just do things anyhow. There's channels to fire someone. There's disciplinary action. You can, you know, invite the person over, ask them questions. We don't even need to know how many of you have been fired from your jobs and the world didn't even know. How many of you have been under disciplinary at work and the world didn't know? Was he also trying to use that to get back at her? He didn't use the right platform to expose the fire. And many people celebrate. They really, really celebrated. I'm going to go to Muevant and just read the comments of people mocking me. It was sad. Majority were women. And you could see, these are the same people say, oh, Mutale Mwanza is my role model. But you are commenting on her downfall. It's like people always wish people evil. There's a video of Mutale Mwanza which I shared even on my WhatsApp status where she said, hey, Mwari Wobulo, she. Mwono Mwchan, Wobulo, she. There's witchcraft in this world. Wobulo, she. That's why sometimes I fast. Because people are waiting to see you fall. People are waiting to see you fall down. People are waiting to make sure you are a nobody. And of course, she said some things, you know, negative things about even our political party and, um, you know, our party president, uh, President Haka in the Hichilema. But she's a young girl who is learning from her mistakes. Who tomorrow, when President Haka in the Hichilema will be president, she will be there. You know, she will no longer do the power to, she will do forward, the, you know. So, um, we need to learn how to embrace uh, young people. They make mistakes. I mean, it was good. She was trying to announce. And you look, this is the highest post on Mwewantu Media this week. 25,000 likes. 25,000 likes. People are happy to see Motale 4. The comments. You know, somebody said that I once had a heated exchange on uh, about uh, Mutale Mwanza's conduct. Others were saying, you know, let her rest. Congratulations. Some were saying the rate at which people celebrate the downfall. It's, a, it's alarming. This is Mulongo Judith who follows me. It's really alarming and very worrying that somebody could be celebrating Zim Zam's downfall. That somebody could be celebrating, um, you know, Liz Talmon's downfall. That somebody could be celebrating Dr. Shimbakambuli's downfall. Haka in the Hichilema's downfall. Anyone's downfall. Why should we be that society? Instead of saying, pick yourself up. Pick yourself up and learn from your mistake. But no. Everybody was busy. You know. Somebody said the consequences of having a running mouth. Sorry. Now who will endorse you? Eh, Motale Mwanza makes a lot of money. Through, in fact, her firing has even exposed her to more. And people now brought up the issue of her acquiring a Range Rover. Oh, guys. You know. Uh, Iwan, Iwano Imano says, I am Zambian, but I feel most people in this country are so bitter, jealous, and supportive. And you know what? One thing that I realize is that many of these people, they are also waiting to hear that the UPND party has not adopted Lilian. Hey! They will clap. In fact, they will mock me. But they don't know that I will be adopted. I am very confident about that. Yesterday, oh no, there's, you know that time when we used to do the debates, I have a group called Speak Up Zambia. 
and somebody uh, somebody commented because I shared um, it was something about the candidates where they said oh who is the most popular candidate in Monali constituency under the UPND ticket and for me I said oh let me share this I got 89 point uh, 89 point something percent 11,000 people voted for me and uh, uh, 11,000 people voted for me and for the other candidate 1,200 people voted for her and people were like wow this person is popular and I shared it on the group and guess what the person said oh Lily you overrate yourself excuse me am I supposed to promote another candidate huh I post something about myself I'm the best candidate hey excuse me that is how I see myself that is how I feel myself. There's no way I'm going to use my social media page, which is very influential, to promote another person. There's no way Matadema will use our page to promote another person. We use ours. That's why you two have to grow your page. Grow it. Grow your page in order for you to be celebrated as well. Okay. So, let me just read the percentage. Oh, these guys have got so much news today. Okay, so there was even, so mine was, oh, Haimbe, they did one for Haimbe as well. So mine was um, the other day, and the person said, you are overrating. I was shocked. This is a young person, a youth. How can a youth say that? I thought a youth should be supportive to say, well done, little man. I want to see you succeed. No. He was rather, we shall see. Ha! -ha. We shall see. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. I was so this was it. And people said, this is social media. There is someone, I got 89.7%. Let me show you. There is someone who knows me on Facebook. Like all of you people. That's why I don't come to my um, my page here to promote myself. There's someone who knows me on social media that thought, oh, Lily, all she does is just talk on social media about how she is successful, how she's working hard in Monali. And what most people don't know is I only show 10%. I only show 10% of my work. Because it's work that you cannot show. How can I show uh, buses of people going to a funeral and say, I funded this. No, I don't need to do that. People are going to a funeral crying and I'm saying, it was me who bought the chickens. No, there's so many things I do in the background which I don't even share on media. I only share 10%. So many things. People are in hospital. I should come on media and say, today we are going to see a child who has rabies. They need uh, help. These are things I've done. People have been stabbed and I'm in the hospital buying them food, doing this and that. I don't, I respect people's privacy, especially when it comes to hospital. I, I don't mess around with hospital because I'm a professional, I'm a social worker, so I don't expect to start taking videos and pictures in a hospital, no. So, I was shocked, you know, how people celebrated. Let me read what this time and say. Liz says, what's true? Why should you promote others when you have a platform to promote yourself? Um, MK Quib says, it's a blessing in disguise. Great things coming her way. Yeah. Uh, Liz Talman says, so glad that she did that step. I believe fasting is important, definitely. You know? And these are young people who are waiting on social media for a story. Waiting. Eager. To hear you fall. To hear bad news about you. And they'll be the first ones sharing. Let's go to any other post on Women to Media. 2,000 likes, 3,000 likes. Mutale Mwanza one. 25,000 likes. What does that tell us? So let me read Mutale Mwanza's apology. She has decided to apologize. And I'm so happy that she's done that. Because... Um, it's important that she, she, she apologizes. So she says, good evening. This is to formally 
and unreservedly apologize to Mrs. Margaret D. Monacatre by all uh, the great and the great general public. Oh yeah, because she used by all the great general public for the disrespectful social media post I made on my Facebook page yesterday, 24th February 2021. Mrs. Manakatwe is a, our leader and such references were uncalled for. Kindly find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm truly sorry. My post did not represent the opinion of bio oil um, brand at all. I have been a victim of cyberbullying and I am ashamed to have, you know, scripted such a disrespectful thing to our mother. I would like also to take this opportunity to thank Hot FM management for according me an opportunity to work in their organization. I further wish to reaffirm my stance against cyberbullying and assure you that such instances will never happen again. And obviously, you know, I've taken that apology and lots of people have taken that apology. But for me, this is a lesson. And for those of you who follow me on Facebook, I will be going on my Facebook Live to discuss this matter because that's where, you know, we have lots of young people who are ready to talk about Mutari um, it's it, We should be careful what we share. And it's also a time for us to know who is really on our side in our lives. So thank you so much, everybody. It's been amazing. I will be back with another live stream. This time, I'll be talking about President Edgar Chagualongo. Thank you so much. Let's play this song before we go. So this song was done for me by a young person in Monali. For Monali, he's on the copper belt. Proverbs 24, verse 17. Don't rejoice when your enemy falls and let not your heart be stunned. Just now, I'm going to my Facebook page. Supporting. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. See you on my platform.